Okay, so what do we see here? Our p-value is greater than, greater than our significance level, right? Greater than, not less, greater than. That means it could be sampling variability, right? That means what? Do we reject the null or fail to reject the null? Yeah, if you remember, that means reject, uh, sorry, fail to reject the null, right? Fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, that means the null hypothesis really might be correct, though we really don't have evidence for it because we have a high p-value. Remember, a high p-value is not evidence. So what would be our conclusion? Remember, think high p-value and the claim is HA. So if you use the table that I went over on the conclusions video, um, this would mean not significant, right? Claim is HA, so not significant to support. So it's a not support situation. So there is not significant evidence to support the claim that less than 10% of COC stat students carpool. Right? So it's kind of like a not support. Um, so maybe this is wrong. Maybe HA is wrong. But I can't really prove it. <laughs> right? I don't have evidence towards that. Right? So kind of think of it as a not support situation. Okay? And that's it, the hypothesis test from start to finish. Wow, our first one population hypothesis test, our first hypothesis test from start to finish. And it kind of gives you how long these problems really are and how much theory we had to learn before we could even do this once. All right? So in our next video, I'll, I'll be talking about doing a one population mean average hypothesis test. All right, so this is Matt Touchot and Intro Stats, and I will see you next time.